Hey everyone, my name is Hal. You've made it to Quail Studios Guitar. We are going to play and teach So Far Away so you can learn it. If you have just come from my cover video, you'll know that I had my capo on the third fret. That's because the key that Carol King actually plays this song and sings it is really a little too low for my voice. But I wanted to sing it with the capo for the cover. So let's take it off and retune the guitar. Always retune your guitar when you put a capo on or take it off because uh, that pressure on there on the strings and then when you take it off it changes the tuning. So if you're able to do it, take it off. Now this is actually the original key that Carol King played it in. So let's go through the chords. We'll zoom in right now and get right to it. So what we start out with is a D major 9. And this is how I'm playing it. Our D string is open. Our G string, 2nd fret G string right there with our first finger. Our 2nd fret B string. And then the open E string. And then we go to a D6. And we just move this finger down like that. Let's get a little closer so you can see a little better. So there's our D major 9. We go to a D6. So we've got an open string, 2nd fret on the G, open B, 2nd fret on the E. And we go back and forth. I'll show you the uh, right hand in just a minute. Then our next chord is G major 7. This finger, this note has to come down to the 2nd fret. The G major 7, and then the G6. We're going to have an open uh, E string. I play the G6 like this. I mute that A string with this finger. Same way with the G major 7. I'm not playing that A string. It's muted with this finger. And then we go to E minor 7. I know you're thinking, what? E minor 7? We don't play the A string. We could play the E minor 7 like this. But we don't even need to touch that A string. So I'm just plucking those five notes. E string, D string, G string, B string, E string. And I'll show you the right hand, like I said in a minute. And then we go to a G with an A bass, which is, here's your A bass. And then your G chord. That's a G chord, and then you can put your finger here. Or sometimes what I did was I played it with an open E string, and that really makes a, it might be a G13 with an A bass, because we got a 13 right there. So it says on the music G slash A, I'm going to either use this with the open E, or I'm going to do that. And then we have a D major 7 which is a great chord. We just use one finger and bar it across like this. And when I do that, like that, we've got the D bass. Then we go to here. This is a, a G chord and it's only three fingers. We've still got that D bass open. And I'm playing these two notes on the third fret, E string and B string with my first finger. And then my second finger, I'm playing 4th fret G string. Right? And I try to keep that D string open. And let's see. Oh, F sharp minor 7. I'm just playing those five strings, the E string, skip over the A, D, G, B, and E strings. Bar on the 2nd fret, like that. Let's see, I'm looking to see if I've got any other chords. Oh yes. There's one point on the music where it shows far away. And we're going kind of into a bridge section here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a D chord, and I'm going to play it instead of like this. I'm going to play it like this. I'm going to bar those two notes with one finger, because then I'm going to do a D with a C-sharp bass. 
and then I'm going to go to B minor, which is a bar chord. Now, if you can't do the B minor, I guess you could do the B minor 7. And one more, one more song about moving along the highway. So I do a B minor. One more song about moving along. This is an A6. That's your A6, moving along the highway. And then we go to a D with an F sharp bass. And let's see, are there any other chords? No, I think that's it. If we discover any other chords, I'll let you know. Let's do right hand. So far away. And I do that for the intro too. Just like that. What I'm doing is I'm plucking the D string with my index finger. When you're finger picking like this, you need to come from underneath the string. So many of my new students try to do it like this, and it doesn't work. You can't pluck like this. You've got to get under the string and pull from these knuckles. If you really want to know how to do that, I have a video about that called Finger Picking 101. It will show up here on the side, right up there somewhere, and it'll tell you a little bit more about um, technique and how you can improve your finger picking technique. So go check that out. So I'm plucking all those strings and then I'm plucking those three strings, the G string, B string, E string on those, because we're on a, uh, a D major nine chord. Going to the D six. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, so far away. Doesn't anybody stay in one? Now G major seven, place anymore, place anymore. Now what I'm doing here is I'm plucking everything at once, and I'm using these three fingers, my middle ring and pinky on the top three strings and my index finger on the D string. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And this pattern I use in this song a lot. Place anymore. So I've got that G major seven for two beats and then the G6 for two beats. It would be so. <laughs> this is certainly a great chord because I'm not touching anything with my left hand. So thumb is on the E string, D string, G string, B string, and the E string. Let's zoom in and really show you how that works. Right there. It would be so. And then Fine to see your, or I can, I can play that third fret like I talked about. This is the G with an A bass. So this is the E minor seven. It would be so fine to see your. Now what I did here was I played the A bass. That's the G chord. I put in that E note. I thought it sounded really good. Fine to see your, and then we do this. Face at my door. Now I pluck all those strings. I'm anchoring my thumb right here on the A string. And I pluck this, the D string, hard enough to where it will go all the way through these chords. Just like that. Face at my door. That's the D major 7. G with the D bass. Back to D major 7. It doesn't. G major 7. Help. Okay, so this is now the F sharp minor with just one finger. And I'm doing, I'm still plucking those same notes like I did with the E minor 7. When we did, it would be so fine to see you. So we've got the uh, uh, G major 7. Doesn't help to know. One, two, let's see, doesn't help to know. These are all on the beat, aren't they? One, two, three, four. G major seven, 
F sharp minor 7, E minor 7, G with an A bass. I really like that open E instead of put, playing it like that. Doesn't help to know that you're just time away. This is just like the intro, right? And you're just time away. Long ago I reached, let's see. Long ago I reached for you and there you stood. This is just like the beginning. Holding you, E minor 7, again, G with an A bass with that open E, could only do me good. That's a D major 7 going to the G with the D bass, back to D major 7, G major 7 again. How I wish, F sharp minor, I could. E minor 7 to G with an A bass, but you're so far away. Now we do, so we got one, two, D chord. What I do is I hold that D chord, and then I play the C sharp bass, and then we go into B minor. One more song about moving along. That's the A6, with all those notes uh, covered right there. Moving along the highway. G chord, did I actually talk about the G chord? The actual G chord? I don't think I did. Here's my G chord. I forgot about this. We just played a regular G. Now, the A string is being muted. We have all the essential notes. The G note, the D note, another G, a B, and an E right there. Excuse me, and a G right at the top. Let's go back to our right hand. One more song about moving along, A6, the highway, three. So I do that for three beats. One, two, three, D with an F-sharp bass. Oh, I think we forgot this one, too. Here, let's do that one real quick. D with an F-sharp bass. Okay, that's my D with an F-sharp bass. I love to do it this way, where I do the D with these three fingers and my F-sharp here, because I go... Um, G, D with an F-sharp bass, like that, and then my E minor 7. Now some people might want to do G, see I just slide this over and go like this. But some people might want to go like this, but I don't like to move my hand so much, like this. See, if you look at the back of the hand, then when I do the G, and then I come into this position, and that, so G, if I'm using my thumb over like that, then here's your G, and then you have to shift. Okay, this is what it looks like if I'm not using my thumb over. G chord, D with an F sharp bass. That's this one. That's why I like it, because the back of the hand doesn't move as much. Highway. D with an F sharp bass, can't say much. E minor seven of anything, G with an A bass, that's new. D major seven for four beats. One, two, three, four. So it's like one, two, and three, and four. If I could only work this life out. Four beats on that F sharp minor. If I could only work this life out my way. I'd rather spend it being close to you, E minor 7 to G with an A bass, but you're so D major 9 again, far away. Doesn't anybody stay in one place? G major 7 to G6, E minor 7 would be so fine to see your D major 7 to G with a D bass, back to D major 7 door. Doesn't help to know that you're so far away. Yeah, you're so G major 7 to G6. Right there, at the end of that, we go 1 and 2, 3, 4. 
This is like a bridge section again. Traveling around, G with an A bass. Traveling around sure gets me down. A6 and lonely. Nothing else to do, E minor 7, but close my D major 7. That was a G with an A bass. My Sure hope the road don't come to only. So right there on sure, F sharp minor seven, the road don't come E minor seven to only. There's so many G with an A bass, B minor dreams I've yet to find. E minor seven to G with an A bass, but you're so far. Same thing as the beginning. Doesn't anybody stay in one place anymore? It would be so fine to see your face at my door. It doesn't, oops, it doesn't help to know that you're so far, oops, wrong chord, D major 9, far away. And this is just an improvisation that Carol King does with um, her voice. And she's really, this is the ending. G major 7 to G6, far away. Hey, you're so far away. And what I did was I just did G major 7 to G6, E minor 7 to G with an A bass, and just fade it out on this. And you could just do this until you're done. And if you wanted to, you could come up here and play. And that's my phone. Somebody's texting me. You could just do a, a D chord up here, like this. And I've got an open D string. And then just a that right there. You can see it on the on the screen. Well, thanks for being here. That was So Far Away by Carol King. And as always, I do want to tell you and thank you very much for being here and for subscribing if you haven't and hit that bell like this if you want notifications when my new videos come out. I've really uh, tried to make our videos, especially our videos about uh, how to play a song, our lessons, more comprehensive lately, and we're just going to keep that format because it seems to be working really well. A lot of you have told me you love the camera angles on the left hand with the chords and the right hand finger picking, so we're going to keep that. Also, I do have the Quail Studios Music and Lead Sheets book that you can get over at Patreon, or you can uh, pay for it down with the link in the description at a PayPal link. Or you can become a patron at Patreon for the minimum amount and you get the book with updates all the way through 2020 because I'm updating it every few days or so, putting new songs like this one, So Far Away, into uh, the book so you can have it right there. And I've got 25 songs so far, over 70 pages worth of material, and it's expanding all the time. Once we get into 2021, then we're going to up the price a little bit and... Um, you know, so now's a good time to jump in. I just want to thank you very much for being here, and we'll talk to you later, okay?